I doing guys? September 14th, 2017. On this job here, I gotta go to a um, place where I get all that meat, uh, that meat market, and I gotta disconnect a bunch of lines over there. It's got a bunch of baseboard and water lines. Uh, they ripped that whole basement apart and all the stuff's kind of flipping, hanging in the wind there. So I gotta go by there and disconnect everything, uh, cap the heating, and cap the water line to a, um, a basement uh, bathroom. We'll see you when I get there. Uh, and then little Taj Mahal over here. So I'm just gonna go over there and give it the old Gundy. Go give it the old Gundy! Gotta give you some shots when I get there. I don't know if you guys remember the uh, that place that got flooded. But they took 10 dumpsters out of here. I mean, they took 10 dumpsters of trash out of here. There was like four feet of water in this place. But look at all these. I gotta disconnect these fixtures and this baseboard. Looks like that, that coal's been split. I think they got the cold off right here at the ball valve, at this valve. Look this sink just hanging. It's just flipping, hang, just flipping hanging there in the wind. Oh, the cold's off, but about the hot. Nope, that's still on. It's flipping hanging in the wind there. <clears throat> this should be the hot. Tankless. And I gotta drain the boiler down and here's baseboard. I gotta take these loops out of here. He wants all this out of here. So I gotta find out what goes where and, and cut this baseboard out of here. Some scrap. Some scrap copper. See what I can do over there. Give it the old gun there. Here with the old Gundy. I think he's just flopping in the wind here. Alright, it's off now. A little dark down here. It's off now. I'm just going to disconnect this stuff and put it on the floor. For now, I'll probably take it out and put a plug in there for him. The old Gundy. Little molding. When in doubt, we cut it out. Give it the old gun there. I think that'll come out now. I'm thinking it will. I think it's slipping, floating in the wind there. She's floating in the wind. That's a cast iron unit. She's one heavy load. She's a heavy load.
man, she's a leaker. She's a leaker. That's the heart. She's a leaker. Just tighten up that shut off. I could always put a ball valve on if I have to. Cut it right on the thread right here. And I'll back that out, that piece of pipe. Should be able to back that out. See, that should be good. Be careful with that grinder. It's brass. to get some plugs for the there's a couple of holes for the toilets but this baseboard's gonna get cut out of here too I gotta cap these off a lot of heat um, there's the split loop this one goes that way off right here I already checked it that's off and the supply right here is off too these valves are already off somebody shut them off when before they started doing the demo that's off it's a globe valve it's off there And then these two come down and this one is off too. What I want to do is I'm going to cut all the stuff out of the way. I know that this is dead because I opened it and there's nothing coming out. Alright, so we know it's off. That heating loop. We'll cut that out of the way and then I'll, I'll run out and get caps or female adapters and caps or plugs, whatever I need to do. And cut all this out of here. I'll probably cut it right here and then all this is all that scrap I'll cut it all up and go in my scrap pile Nick level Nick level No, I'm cutting this zone out. The heating zone. See it on the floor? Okay, this is all but is, out. is this water need to be shut off somewhere? No, I already did. I already shut it off. Oh, Chris. Why don't you get a bucket there, man? You're you worried about a bucket. Look at all the holes on the floor. How much more is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be much more. I got the valve off. Jeez. Right. What, so, what are you doing, Steve? You're going to knock it off there? I'm going to cut it and cap it. Oh, okay. Cut and cap. Okay. Concap, I gotta, he don't want this stuff. I already got the bathroom disconnected over okay. there, so. He just told me to come down and see what you're doing. He didn't even say that, he said, 
I said I want to go down there. The guy wanted a tax right off. 20 of the biggest fish was for five guys to shack. Back then, 20 grand, five grand a pop. Hey, he'd meet us at the dock. He'd have a room up in uh, the valleys. So this is where the bathroom was and that drop piece came down with a baseball I had to cut out. So what I had to do is this used to come down, drop down, feed that bathroom, and then back up to this other bathroom that's above us here. So what I did was I just saw uh, I just took the drop out and I just connected it. So it's just gonna feed that upper bathroom. Uh, Cause if not it'll freeze from winter time. 
We don't want that. We've got to have heat up there. It's kind of an old building here, so. I did put a hanger right here to hold this pipe. And I used the I used some of the old pipe that I cut out to do the repair. I'll let that cool and then I'll put the, the cap on it. Once that cools off enough to uh, put the cap on it, then we'll, uh, I gotta put a couple of more, I gotta put a couple of more caps down there. I gotta cap this water line and two on the heating system. And then we could uh, fill it, purge that zone. There's all the scrap that I cut out, that loop. That loop used to come over here and then down and around. I cut all that out. She's a leaker. I do have shock bite fittings if I had to use on that, but I got female adapters. I'd rather use that instead. I'd rather use the female adapters if I can and plugs. We'll see. Alright guys, the return came all the way back here. I could open this valve here so I don't need to put any kind of, um, it ain't going to build up pressure because if anything it will just go right out this hose. So I could use a regular cap here on this one. leaking by a little bit. Uh, the, valve, the valve's not shut off 100% but that'll be alright. Let that dry and I gotta do the other side. The supply. There was a split loop. Here's the other, the other return here. That was the split loop going to the basement. This one right here is going upstairs now. It's just gonna feed that bathroom. Just gonna feed that bathroom above. Something like this, I use a female adapter and a plug, just so it won't throw up pressure. solder it I can put a plug in there. Well this is on the heat so it doesn't have to be brass. I could use a black plug on this one this one. It doesn't matter. It could be use a male adapter, female adapter, whatever. As long as I can put a after I'm done I'll put a plug in there. The idea is we don't want to build up pressure. You'll see steam coming out of there. Watch. If that was just a cap. You watch the steam coming out of there and never be able to solder it. Watch. It's gonna build up pressure. There's water in there.
liar out of me. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a black plug because this is heating, it doesn't matter. If this was water, you know, domestic water, you'd have to use a brass plug. Black plug's fine for this, the heat. Well, it looks like this building was in a fire at one time. But it's all cooked. Just capped off right there, so we can open this back up. Well, we gotta uh, shut that, shut that other valve off for us. Hang on a minute. Shut this return off. Got that return off there. We gotta purge that other zone. That one's capped. We just have to purge this. I'm not too worried about this floor down here. There's all kinds of cracks and everything. The water's gonna go right down here anyway, so I'm not worried about it. Yeah. I mean, that thing's that thing's black. Alright. Put the black coming out of there. Wow, I don't know if you can see it, but it's bad. Even the old Gundy. Alright, it's good enough. It's just that one bathroom up there. I'm going to open up this, this valve here on this. He's going to have to um, have an electrician come run a wire for the thermostat. Or well, I could do it for him, I guess. So I'll have to find out what relay that is. And That's a bathroom, a uh, little piece of baseboard above this, in this bathroom here. So that's it, that's done. I gotta do this cold water and that hot water. I can turn the hot water back on. And that hot water right there so I could liven this back up. Got a bleeder, I could probably put a cap on it, but I'll put a female adapter in a plug. Not a big deal, I got it. 
I got one. Just makes it a lot easier. Because that short piece of pipe like that will build pressure. And it'll blow the solder out. Yes, sir. Now this one would have to be a brass. This one would have to be a brass plug because it's water, domestic water. Anything with domestic water, you can't, you know, have brass or black in there because it'll rust. So the brass won't rust. I'm just going to pluck cap it. It's always good practice this way here. Nobody can open it and flood the place, right? Everything should be capped off or plugged. This way there's no problems. You don't want to open yourself up for a lawsuit. This TDO Mueller fitting, see the hole where you used to put the solder in? That's what they call a Mueller fitting. There's a hole up there, that's where you would put the solder after you heat it. Them are old. Alright, I'll we'll turn the hot water on. I did put a cap, I did put a female on the other one. To that bathroom upstairs. The heat's hooked up. This Moldeen here will take care of this downstairs. That bathroom is disconnected. <laughs> Thermostat's just flipping, flopping in the wind there. He's selling this place anyway. I don't know what's going on with it, but. Here's the heat for the bathroom. Here's the bathroom. So I'm going to go hot and cold here. I don't know if I have my here. But. That's that piece of baseboard there. We had to rehook hook back up because uh, we don't want this freezing for one the time. There's the thermostat that's for that, but it's not working, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to run another thermostat wire um, to that bathroom upstairs to this relay. This TT right here. I have to come back for that. I ain't gonna do it today, but that's the one. That's the one right there. I'll have to run a, a thermostat wire up into that bathroom with a thermostat, and then I'll kick on that um. It'll kick on that uh, that relay, that uh, uh, pull that relay in to run that zone, you know, for that bathroom. I got this thing turned all the way up, and it's not even calling. So that's the one right there. 
that's the one. Right, you'll have to tell his electrician to do it. Either that or come back and do it. It's not even cold out yet. I'll talk to him about it. At least I got all the piping done. A couple of fixtures there. It's a flipping mess. There's no Taj Mahal here, Mama. Oh, man, no Nick level. Nick level, y'all. Nick level. 